Yeah, you look really nice today. Oh, that's quite nice. <laughs> the journey begins. Hello. Hello. Is this one order the breakfast? Okay, um, yeah, just order some breakfast, please. That's correct, yeah. Um, can I have the... Um, <coughs> uh, sorry, two seconds. What did you want? <laughs> granola. Can I have the uh, one portion of the granola? Bagel and cream cheese. Granola, yeah. Bagel and cream cheese. Uh, yes, well, everything that comes with. Bagel and cream cheese. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, can I have the bagel. Uh, a bagel and cream cheese? One bagel and cream with, comes with cream cheese. Yeah, one of them. Please. I can also have. In fact, can I have two of them? Yeah, and one can I have with bacon, so just a side of bacon. Yeah. Can I also have one americano? A uh, pot of coffee. I uh, one americano. It's pot easier coffee. to order a pot of coffee or just americano. <laughs> yeah, just americano. Uh, what? See the. Um, press juicery. It says here just to ask about what juices you have. Okay, thank you. Okay. Take the cap out of my face, would you please? <coughs> this is too much epic all off of the camera. I'm so hungry, I need all more. Just remember and get your bacon. I already asked them for the side of bacon. Okay. Lemonade, grapefruit juice and orange juice. Orange? Uh, can I have one orange juice, please? Uh, can I also have the as is it the acai yeah. smoothie? Acai smoothie. Yeah, um, and then just uh, yeah, I think that's all. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think that's all. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Well done. I don't know if I got enough there. What did I order? Can the bagel and the bacon. Yes, I can look back. Good morning. We just walked round the observatory. There is the view. There is Jack. It's the first time I've ever seen snow up in the California I know. Mountains. Over in the distance there's snow. Freezing. It's absolutely freezing here just now. Our pals are saying that it's really cold in LA right now and I didn't believe them but it actually really is. I thought we'd be fine but it's actually really cold like my, my hands are cold. So we just came up to the observatory for a wee wonder. We got up really early this morning and woke up at 6 but I fell asleep last night at 7 o'clock. I was shattered so I slept like 11 hours. It was so great. And then now yeah, just got up, got ready and we're just making the most. We've got a free day today so we're up here. We're going to go and get some brunch now. That's where we're going. We're going to Blue Jam Cafe. A bit of shopping, a bit of work and then we're meeting Canon and Sebastian for dinner tonight. This is a funny place for us. We've not been up here since we came and Jack tried to propose to me. He, <laughs> he tried. He tried. It didn't really work out. <laughs> so technically this is where we got engaged at uh, kind of like 30 minutes <laughs> after. So yeah, excited for brunch. And actually it was really easy getting here. Customs was fine. Suitcases arrived fine. We ended up at the hotel super early. Yep, I went for a quick pedicure to wake me up. It was great. We had the best day getting here. Yep, nice and Flight easy. was easy. Oh we slept on the plane. Yeah, I'll update you guys properly there but it was just the best. Okay, so we just got to Blue Jam Cafe and this is what I've got. I've got crunchy French toast. Jack's got a breakfast burrito and we're gonna actually half it. But I am so glad that we've come here. It doesn't look so good. We actually walked past this uh, cafe ages ago and the queue was around the street so it must be amazing but we've got the coffee's brilliant. So excited about this. Flipping brilliant. <laughs> we just got to the Grove which is a place that we come and shop when we're here and we've never seen it at Christmas and it's the most amazing thing ever. There's lights everywhere, look there's Santa and his reindeer. It's amazing. Look. Feels like Christmas all over again. I know, it does feel like Christmas. It's so nice at night time, isn't it? Yeah. There's an old fashioned cinema hall here as well. Yeah. The Pacific Theatre. So nice, it's so busy. Hello. Me and Jack are fighting. <laughs> So basically, I always carry a big bag, right? And I've always got my bag full of stuff. And loads of people that I see have cute small bags, like this. I want to be able to wear this bag today. This is my baby, this I is my Dior. I don't think taking a bag. It's just... Look at that tone. Listen to that tone. Look at the size it's of this thing. Eve. And we're taking, you know what we're, you know we're taking in this bag? You know what's going in this bag? That. That's good. <laughs> this bag. 
I don't even feel bad to be honest. We are just getting ready. We're gonna go down to Venice Beach. We're gonna go to Abbott Kinney, Abbott Kinney Street, which is like a shopping street. And then we're gonna wander around Venice Beach. We've actually not been there since we got engaged. So that was over two years ago and I've not been since and neither's Jack. So we're really excited to have a little wander about the pier, wander about the beach. It's a really nice day today. Sunshine, it's like 21 degrees outside. So we just got ready and at the party tonight, New Year's party with Ulla Henriksen, which is actually, I've totally forgot to say, Ulla Henriksen invited us out here literally just to go for this New Year's party. It's so exciting. Just uploaded my Ulla Henriksen work that I've done and I just love them so much. I love, I love the product so much. I know that you guys do as well. So we're so honoured to have been invited. It's the first time we've ever celebrated New Year's outside Glasgow as well. I know. And for the past four or five years we've uh, celebrated it in the house, we've not actually been outside for a year, so it's going to be a cause for celebration. Yeah, we're really excited, it'll be fab. So the party tonight's at nine, we've got to be ready for. It's only ten minutes away from our hotel, we're in downtown LA at the moment in the standard. The room's great, it's a bit of a mess just now, but we've got a big bed, there's a bath right there. It's just great, so much space. So yeah, we're just really excited. I'm, I feel great that I've managed to get all my work done for the year. And we've got eight hours left of the year, no, liar, we've got 13 hours left of the of the decade and I finally managed to catch up on all my work so I've got 13 hours off. <coughs> it's so hot, it's too hot. Well nah, that's not too hot, it's nice but I'm wearing leather trousers. Um, and we just walked down Abbot Kinney and do you know what I just realised, we, we've actually been here enough times to have a really good kind of itinerary of recommendations. We we can give you loads of recommendations for where to eat, where to stay, where to visit. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. I'm gonna list them all down below. So we'll list down restaurants, hotels, and all that kind of stuff. Just because yeah, we know we know what we like, and there's some things that we've done over and over again. There's some things that you should do once definitely. So yeah, and we're just now getting to Venice. And the last time we were here was the day after we got engaged, and a little guy wrote a poem. I wonder if he's still there, Jack. We should get another poem. It's gorgeous today. Beautiful. I forgot how much I love this place. There's some area in it. Look at all these wee houses. There's so many stalls. Selling random stuff. Such a cool place. Call it out. Happy New Year. It's New Year back home. We're just ready. Look at this fringe. Guys. Right, see a fringe wash changes lives. Have I washed my hair? No, but I did wash my fringe. I can't believe it's New Year's Eve in LA. Isn't I know, we're so excited. Karen and Sebastian are on the way to us. We had such a lovely dinner with them yesterday. We went to a place called Dharma downtown and it was great. It's Latin inspired food and it was amazing. We ate far too much. And now we're ready. You look good. Look at you. What is that? I need to cut but I'll do it for tonight, thank you. <laughs> College Jack Baxter. <laughs> I've done my makeup. I've not filmed a tutorial or anything, but I can if you like. Ho ho! And yeah, I'm just really excited. I'll show you what I'm wearing. I have a little body on that I got ages ago from ASOS. And then I've got my Anina Bing Taylor trousers and a belt from ASOS as well. These Taylor trousers are the best. I'm so obsessed with her. And this is the first time I'm taking my new boobies out in the town. Yeah, we actually we go well. <laughs> Do we? Ah, oh, we actually don't go too wrong. Yeah, that looks nice. I've also got my suit jacket because I'm going for, you know, party. But I've got work tomorrow. That's my that's my vibe. I need to pack my bag, my little handbag. I'm taking my Bottega Veneta, my wee baby. And I've got a new mole, which is just a spot. I've drawn it in. By the time you guys see this, we'll already be home from here. But I just want to say Happy New Year. I hope you you guys are off to a great start to the new year. Let's all be the best people we can be. Is that a good chance? Man, that toilet is so close to the ground. You didn't turn the light on. I did, I just turned it off there. Did you just pee everywhere again? What do you mean again? I've not peed everywhere. Yeah, you have. You did. You. Not, anyway, guys, I shut that, up. I was saying that toilet's close to the ground. Yeah, toilet. Jack's saying the toilet's close to the ground. Oh. The toilet's so close to the ground, I feel like Samwise Ganji when I'm peeing. Sam, but he's small. Samwise Ganji. Oh, God. Hope you had a great time. We will check in with you guys in 2020. Happy 2020 everyone. We are at Malibu Farm for an amazing lunch. We've got water, clean 2020, and look at this view. This is honestly, I was saying to Jack, this is probably the best start to the year I've ever had. There's a fucking wasp trying to get me. How are you feeling Jack? We did so good last night, didn't we? 
yesterday was so much fun. We had such a great time and we got to see everyone and it was just, it was amazing. We celebrated the new year. And then me and Jack were really responsible. We were at home and in our beds for three o'clock, which is quite, quite early for New Year. And then we had a great sleep, woke up, got ready, and then we're out at the beach. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna put our feet in the water. We're gonna sit on the beach and yeah, just, I'm so, I'm just feeling great. We're both just feeling so happy being here. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. What the hell are you doing? Wait, see if it's right. See if it works. Snap. <laughs> You're lame. You're leaving out on me. <laughs> Jimmy's practicing TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think that was quite good. Let me see your work. Let's see. I what like it. Then. I've always wanted to be a singer, and now I can just pretend. Let me see your work. What the hell is it? I'm gonna get really good at it. You're gonna be TikTok famous in no time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> no. <laughs> you promised you would not upload it. <laughs> you promised me you would not upload it. This is what happens when two middle aged people try and do TikTok. <laughs> I'm not middle-aged. I'm middle-aged. I'm old, I'm an old soul. I'm old at heart. Like yeah, I don't know what middle well, so Middle-aged? Well, middle of your age. This middle of your life. I might be middle-aged, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. Am I TikToker now? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're doing great. But I feel like I'm cringing, but it's also hilarious. Oh my god, look at you. Look at you, you ready? Bam! <laughs> I didn't get that part right. We'll practice, we'll, we'll practice. We are just in the valley. I've got a bit of a funny story and it's not really that funny but it is very, very lucky. We went out for New Year, obviously. It was a great time, we had so much fun. And the next morning, I didn't tell you this yesterday, but the next morning I woke up and one of my bracelets had fallen apart and fell off my wrist. I didn't realise on the night, I realised in the morning and it was one of my, actually no, it was the most special bracelet that I own. It was one of my Cartier bracelets, which I worked so hard for, saved up for so long for. And I woke up and I realised it wasn't there and I was proper devastated, like I couldn't believe it. So I text, I text my friend who works for Ulla Hendrickson and I was like, you're not gonna believe this, but one of my bracelets fell off last night and I doubt it's, been handed in or anything but if it has and she was like guess what Laura Lee's husband Tyler found it and told Scar and took it home and kept it safe so we just went and picked it up and I actually cannot believe it he saved the day totally saved the day so thank you so much Tyler Laura and Tyler's house is beautiful it is the most beautiful house and um, so yeah we just went there and picked it up and I'm feeling so happy and now we're walking along to visit Karen Sebastian before we leave tonight Hi guys, <laughs> look how big she's getting. Oh my goodness me, I missed you guys so much. Happy New Year puppies, Happy New Year. Happy New Year dogs. Happy New Year guys. Oh. There's nothing like coming back home and having a shave. Oh. Is that what you were doing upstairs? <laughs> Are these dogs, we missed them so much but they had the best time after a groan and groan. Look at Juno's face, she's getting so big. It's so strange because she's got quite a feminine little lady dog face and Drogba's got a really big, strong, big boy's head face. Oh, look at that, oh my god. Guys, guess what we're doing today? Guess what we're doing today? Are we gonna go to the toy shop? Do you want to go to the toy shop? <laughs> we got home last night, I feel super puffy after that flight. I'm puffed up. Got home yesterday night and I literally just had a shower, washed my hair and went to bed. I don't feel great today actually. I feel like I might have the start of a bug. Uh, I really don't want to get unwell. Hey, right, get down! Not like a cold or anything, more like a kind of stomach bug. I'm not sure, we'll see how today goes. But yes, I still have to unpack my suitcases, which I'm gonna to do today. I need to sort my hair out. We're gonna have a weekend kinda off, to be honest. It's Saturday today, so we're gonna to have today and tomorrow, and then we're gonna get back to it on Monday. But I do want to do my makeup. Kiddo, get down! Good girl. I do actually really want to do my makeup today just because I've not done anything creative with my makeup in a really long time. And I've just started following this girl on Instagram who I am obsessed with. She's called Danielle Markin. She is absolutely beautiful and her makeups are really cool. Like she properly like changes her makeup up all the time. Like I feel like I used to be a lot more like that. But recently, you know, I just like my, I just like my warm brown smoking eye. But 
yeah, following her has really inspired me. I want to do something cool with my makeup. And I want to sort my hair out. My hair's actually still wet in parts. But this is how the extensions dry by themselves, which is pretty good. Just need to get my life together. <laughs> Unpack. Doggy toy shop. Drop keeps on looking at me whenever I say that. Doggy toy shop. <laughs> I hope you guys had the best new year. And I'll see you really soon. Bye. Loads happening. What? What are you saying? You're interrupting me. No, oh, it looks stupid, doesn't it? <laughs> I'll I'm going to go for my last pee of 2019. Probably not. It's only 7 o'clock. Loads of work that we've been working on. Working on? Work, 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 work. We had such a lovely... Sorry, I'm... I fucked this up now. For the past four or five years. I think it's about five. I don't know. Four or five years. For the past four or five years. <laughs> <laughs> We're just ready. Look at this fringe. Are they ready, funny? Ready? We're still getting ready. Ready? And for the past four or five years. <laughs>